Hello, this is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Miller. Thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Today I'm going to talk about uh, email deliverability audit report and why is it really important and how to run it and what to expect out of it and how much it's going to cost. Uh, so the ultimate goal for you is to run successful email campaigns and the email deliverability audit report really takes a, a prime uh, position in that aspect. Uh, so we strongly recommend that you go to this video and it's understand uh, what it uh, has to offer to you. What is an email deliverability audit? Basically, whenever you're sending out an email or campaign, email campaign, uh, you really want to know how many emails are actually going to go to the inbox and how many are open, and how many are actually going to spam. Uh, so measuring this statistics uh, is nothing but an, uh, a deliverability, email deliverability audit. And it actually provides a lot of insight to your team if the emails are actually reaching to the recipients or not. So if you have prospecting uh, business to people, uh, that are constantly prospecting and they're sending out an email. If they do not know if the emails are actually reaching the recipients, they won't be able to uh, justify um, their uh, tasks of uh, doing the business development. So basically this report will give a lot of insight to your team, uh, especially for those who are actually uh, sending out emails to the recipients for prospecting purposes, especially. And uh, also, it gives you a kind of an overall assessment of your email sending best practices. Uh, so it's not that um, you know everybody is following the same sort of uh, a best practice to send out emails. Some people send it um, you know every month, every week, every day. Some people don't do it. Uh, it could be once in a quarter, once in a, once in six months, on and so forth. So basically, it uh, kind of gives you a, uh, it gives you kind of an overall assessment of your um, the best practices that you're following when it comes to sending out emails, um, and um, uh, that'll re really help you a lot. And then, why do you need to do this uh, audit of uh, email deliverability? The reason is because we do a lot of planning when it comes to sending out campaigns, uh, but we never re really focus on, okay, what is my email deliverability rate, right? Is it good or bad? So if you're sending out 1,000 emails, uh, you want to make sure that you know, you're know you getting a high open rate and high um, click rate. Uh, so if you don't have that kind of a good deliverability measures, then uh, you're not being successful in your campaign. So you want to make sure that you are doing the right thing at the right time. Also, if there is any problem with your uh, email del deliverability aspect, uh, or maybe the practices that you're following, following, um, it is going to fix you. So this assessment will actually fix all those issues. And then uh, how do you really run this email deliverability audit? Uh, first and foremost, you have to define your goals. Uh, so meaning, uh, specify what exactly you're expecting out of this audit. Uh, do you really um, do you actually have deliverability issues today? And uh, do you have any sort of guidelines um, for this um, the uh, deliverability audit report? Um, and um, you know maybe it's going to give you certain uh, best practices that you're going to follow, right? Um, and then uh, it'll also give you if there's any problem with the overall email infrastructure as well. And then uh, maybe you want to just improve the overall open rate and click rate and all of that. And that could be a goal as well, right? And uh, at the same time, um, it's very important to make sure that you capture certain uh, metrics and you're gonna um, assess those metrics using certain tools. Uh, so for an example, you are trying to capture uh, information about the email infrastructure you're using uh, okay, what is the domain that you're using? And the IP authentication is done out, uh, DMARC is taken or not. You know, a lot of things you can actually, um, you know, try to find with the email infrastructure. Um, also, you can uh, check 
make sure that your domain and IP reputation is good and those are not blacklisted. Um, also your email content is uh, spammy and not spammy. Uh, you can find out that using, um, uh, rather you should basically have the, um, this particular piece of information should be analyzed in your audit report. Also make sure that you're actually validating your email list, right? So this audit report would cover that aspect as well. Um, understanding if you're validating your emails periodically or not. And um, well, how do you really do this? So you got to kind of run the deliverability tests using uh, various tools that MassMailer provides such as MassMailer email monitor. Um, and we also have inboxing uh, service. Uh, it's, we can always provide you that report as well. Um, and basically, you know, when you're taking all this, uh, taking this report, it's very important to make sure that the recipient, um, uh, meaning the actual, um, the emails are going to the recipients or not, right? Um, you know, are they going to the inbox? Um, you know, and you can also do uh, the seedless test, right? Like the sample seedless that you may have, send an email to those seedless and then see where exactly these emails are landing, right? And you have to kind of uh, evaluate each metric separately and the results separately. And if there's any problem, uh, obviously you would uh, uh, want to uh, cover that in the report and also give any information on how to improve that. Um, and also, you know, the audit report uh, should have a detailed implementation plan uh, for each issue that has been um, uh, reported. Uh, so obviously when it comes to implementing, uh, you will have to assign certain tasks and the resource need, need to be allocated. You got to schedule the resource and the tasks ahead of time so that you get to, um, you know, take this live uh, with the overall implementation plan as well. And uh, how do you really be successful? Uh, the only way you can be successful is you just start to optimize, you know, send out this periodic, uh, rather gather this periodic uh, audits and uh, keep on optimizing. So that's a cycle, uh, you know, send emails, uh, you evaluate uh, and then you basically optimize and send it. It's a cycle that keeps on going. And now uh, what is the, what does it actually really measure the email audit uh, deliverability report? So it actually measures and analyzes uh, many things. I've listed out a few of them here. First and foremost, it looks at the infrastructure, SPF, DKM, DMARC and BME, make sure that those are all valid. Um, and also it looks at your reputation, the domain and IP reputation as well. And if you uh, are using any content, uh, make sure that you are actually analyzing that content for any spam words, um, or maybe the layout is good or bad. And um, also if you are sending out email to target list view, you need to know if those are valid emails or not, right? Uh, so that's another thing. And um, uh, how are you actually sending it? You know, how frequent are you sending it? How many uh, people you are sending it these uh, emails? Is it a drip campaigns? Uh, just a sequence of uh, series emails or maybe one off emails, you know, what is it? Um, also, uh, you got to measure the overall inboxing placement rate, not just sending email. Uh, you got to make sure that the, it's actually um, going to the inbox and how many are actually going to inbox. And uh, also it analyzes any bounces, blocks, opens, clicks, and subscribes, um, you know, when it comes to uh, the report analysis. Um, and obviously sending pattern should be very consistent. So you can't be just sending uh, one email in six months and then you don't really send anything in between. That's not gonna cut it. That'll actually have a negative impact on your domain reputation, the IP reputation. Um, and if you're using, uh, so this uh, app for both uh, clients and prospects, uh, that's not a problem. We can support multiple domains and multiple IPs uh, if you have multiple of those uh, companies that you're working with. And then um, text emails versus graphics is also gonna take a, an important uh, place here. So text emails are uh, less prone to spam, but the graphics uh, with the heavy content definitely have an impact on the deliverability. Um, and uh, you also need to know if the IP is warmed up properly or not, uh, if, and what kind of a practice that has been followed. Uh, if not, you got to rectify that. And uh, finally, the cost. Uh, so it costs 1297 one time cost to get an audit report for MassMailer. Um, all you need to do is just send an email to support at massmailer.io uh, so we can actually get you that uh, order. And um, 
and then um, uh, it takes a week's time to really get this audit report. Uh, it's not an instant thing. Uh, we do a thorough um, like analysis, and it takes a week. And uh, after the audit report is uh, taken, we also conduct a review session for the audit report. And then we also can discuss the plan on how to implement the changes that are suggested by this uh, report. Typically, it takes uh, 10 hours uh, for you to um, do this implementation. And then um, and the cost for this uh, could be, depending on which package you're actually uh, going with, 1249, um, uh, 20 hours is 2,499, uh, 40 hours packages, 4,999. We also have certain uh, special packages that are available if you want it. Um, so again, depending on um, you know what your issue is, we can always discuss and uh, uh, take it from there. And this is a weekly webinar, uh, runs every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Feel free to join uh, this webinar. Uh, we publish this on our website um, it, and also we publish publish this to our social channels. Uh, you can contact us, this uh, email and the phone number anytime you want it. And um, uh, these videos will be posted to our YouTube channel. I strongly recommend that you actually subscribe to your YouTube channel um, and uh, so you get updated. Uh, so um, there are uh, close to 100 uh, YouTube cha uh, channel videos that we published. Uh, a lot of information that you can actually gather up about mass mailer. So uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to it uh, without fail. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you all, always. Um, have a good day, have a good evening, uh, have a, a good night. Thank you. Bye.